I have to take you to the police department. Please don't. And if I take you to the police department, that's when the cuffs are going to come off quicker. I so the quicker off. No. Okay. All right. Well, listen to me. If I put your seatbelt on, we can get you there in five minutes, and the handcuffs will can come my off. Parents, come pick me up. I will end. call. Absolutely, I will call your parents. Okay. Sweetheart, we'll figure it all out. Okay. Can I put your seatbelt on now? Can we go? Can we go to get these handcuffs off you, Ellie? I just want to drive home. I know. I, I know, want my we're... sister to come pick me up. So, okay. That's what was supposed to we'll happen. Call your sister, okay? December 6, 2022, approximately 7:15 p.m. Officers perform a traffic stop on a young woman in Crystal Lake, Illinois, who was seen driving erratically and breaking several traffic laws. The 2006 Honda Pilot comes to a stop near Pingree Road, and officers make contact with the driver, who acts as if she's surprised to see them. Knock on the window. I'm sorry, hello. Hi, Miss. I'm Officer Costa with Crystal Lake Police Department. Um, we're just talking to you because we got a comp couple complaints. Um, that you might have been swerving on the road or... You're gonna come and talk with us over here, okay? All right, my dear, so, here. Put your butt right against there. This officer is gonna ask you some questions, okay? Do you have your ID on you? I can check. I just need to look at where you're reaching, my dear. I think it's right here. It's right there? Okay, oh, all right, you good? 2004, how old does that make you? That makes me 18. 18, okay. The suspect is identified as 18-year-old Eli Masukovic. Your mom? This is my car. Your car, okay. Yeah, I own it. I paid for the, 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 the license. Where do you live? In Fox River. In Fox River. Right. Really good. Okay, yeah. So Okay. Yeah. So what were you guys doing at your boyfriend's house? We were just watching movies and playing video games. Watching movies and playing video games? Okay, and then you got the idea of... Explain to me one more time. I was like half I was going to buy him Christmas presents while he's at work. You were going to buy... He looks it up by the steakhouse and I... Got it. Buy him Do you guys live presents. together? No, because you live in... You live separate. I live in Foxford Grove. Got it, okay. And Do you know what time it is right now? Go without looking. Go without looking. Guess. Um, I'm cheating. About 6.30? Okay, it's, like, it's right now it's uh, 7.15. Yeah, what I'm, time do you think? 5.30. 5.30? Yes. Okay, and then, and then what did you do when you left his house? I came here. Okay, but it's 7.15. How long were you inside the store for? A while. Think? Like, give me an approximate. 45 minutes. You were in the store for 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, looking for presents. Looking yeah. for presidents. Okay. Our concern is we had two people call in saying that you were swerving on the road and we just want to make sure you're okay to and, drive. And, and stumbling. That's why. Okay. That's why. After they saw you get out of your car. I appreciate what you're saying to me. However, we have a little bit of a problem. Okay. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to be honest with me. Okay. Because... When you opened your door, I saw the bottle of vodka that's in your. I don't want you. I don't want you reaching in your car. Well, I, okay. you could open the door. Okay. You can open okay. So. <laughs> okay. Mom. Okay. What? Okay. Why? Okay. Your, everything's on video okay okay so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you stand by with these officers and I'm gonna search your vehicle you okay? don't have the warrant to do that actually I have probable cause because I observed you, alcohol you and don't have warrant to do because that because I observe I alcohol. have a right I not let you search my car okay so I have a right to not let you search my car unfortunately no I have a right to not let you search my car we're not, we're not. before things escalate it should be established now that Ellie is completely incorrect here the smell or sight of alcohol or drugs inside of a vehicle is enough to initiate a DUI investigation, wherein officers have the right to search the car for contraband. It can be forgiven seeing as she's only 18, but if the driver continues trying to interfere with her investigation, she could very well be arrested for obstruction. I'm not doing this. I have a right Ellie, to not let you Ellie, search my car. Ellie, 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 don't. don't. You know my rights, and you me. know I have a right to not, not let you me. search my car. Okay, listen, I don't... There's a in the center council. There's a, there's a pipe I see. This yeah, is and listen, they don't have listen, a right to search my car. Listen to me. They don't have a right to search chill, my car. Chill out, okay? I know because you... Because I don't want to have to put you in handcuffs right now. 
I know you don't okay. have a right to search my you, car. You need it's to relax. It's an exception to the law. It's called a mobile conveyance. You guys looked in my car before you have the right to search my car. Listen. And so you you don't have a right to search my car. Listen. Also plain view. Listen. Listen. You don't have a right to search my car. I do. No, you don't. Okay. So no, Ellie, you don't. Ellie, 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 Ellie do, do uh, not touch to to me us. like that. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you one more time, dear. I'm telling you for a fact you don't have... You don't have a right okay. to search my car. So, so listen to me. This is going to go one of two ways, okay? I would rather not put you in handcuffs. So we can chill out. I'm going to put you in handcuffs, okay? I don't want to. I'm sorry to hear that. But this is the deal. If you're cooperative, we can figure this out and work through it. I'm okay? just saying you can't search my car without a warrant. In my car. You okay. can't search my car without a warrant. So I know the law. Probably. I know the law okay. because I've looked it up and I know you can't search my car without a warrant, so I'm not Ellie, allowing you Ellie, to. Ellie, I'm giving you one of two choices. I know you Ellie, can't search my car Ellie, without a warrant. Ellie, you guys know Ellie, this. Ellie, these are, Ellie, no, you can't. Ellie, these are your choices. Just, just these are your choices. You can go stand by that squad car with these two gentlemen, okay? That's your that's your first choice. If you do not want to do that, your second choice is I'm going to put you in handcuffs, Okay. So, which you do you can't choose? search my car which, without a warrant. Which do you choose? You I'm going to give you. I'm, gonna, I'm not arguing with you. you I'm going to. You can't. I'm going to give you one opportunity right now. You can't search my what car without your, a warrant. What? Uh, it's all in body cam. You can't search my car yeah, without okay. a warrant. Okay. No, you okay. can't. Turn around. I turn around. Do no, not handcuff me. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. Chill. Turn around. Stop. Stop. I'll go with them to the cop car. Please don't handcuff. Please don't handcuff me. I'll go with them to the car. Ellie, I'll go with them to the car Ellie, right now. Ellie, Please don't handcuff me. Ellie. We already spoke about this. We gave you the opportunity. Don't handcuff me. I'll go to the car with them right now. Please. Do you, I need to grab a hand. I'll go to the car with them right now. Please Ellie. don't handcuff Ellie, me. Ellie, we're not going to do this. Ellie, stop. You got her? I can't be handcuffed. Please, I'm trying to watch the Ellie, stop. I can't stop. be handcuffed. Stop. I can't stop. be handcuffed. Stop it. Now. Okay, right now you're being placed under arrest, okay? For... Um, well, we're going to figure it out. It's at least, uh, we'll go illegal consumption of alcohol by a minor right now. Based off the officer's observation of Ellie's conduct and the presence of the container of alcohol inside the vehicle, they conclude that she's under the influence. Okay, do you have the key? Ah! Stop! Uh, Stop! Ali, Ali, Stop! Let's not do that. <laughs> The news completely sets the teenager off and she tries to bite one of the officers as they take her to the squad car. Ellie! Ellie, we're not doing this. Ellie. We're doing this. I, then take me we're out of the... Shut the f*** up! Have you... That happened to you, okay? Then take me out of the... <laughs> take me out of the handcuffs! You're yes. making it worse for yourself, Ellie. Do you Come know on. how much? Seriously, because what's going to end up happening? Ellie, Ellie, out of Ellie, there. Ellie, stop. What's going to end up happening is that she's going to earn an aggravated battery on a peace officer charge. This is a serious mistake in Illinois, as they punish violence against the law enforcement very harshly. Hitting an officer without causing bodily harm is generally classified as a Class 3 felony that can come with five years in prison and a whopping $25,000 in fines. In more severe cases, an offender can face up to 60 years in prison for hitting an officer. Since Ellie is 18 years old and liable to face adult punishment, it would be best for her to start acting like one and calm down before she ends up behind bars. Take me out! Stop it. Take me out of the <laughs> Stop it. Take me out! Ellie, listen to me. Walk, step from over here. Take them out! Listen to me. Take a deep breath. Listen to me. Can you please take Lin the hand of you, you, you have to listen Ellie, to me. Ellie, Ellie, listen to me. Stop talking. Take a deep breath right now. Stop talking. Take a deep breath. Stop talking. Take okay? a deep breath. Deep breath. Listen to me. Okay? You're going to be okay. You. You're going to be okay. But you can't fight with us. I won't. Just please take me out I of cannot the take you out of the handcuffs because of how out of control you're being right now. I'll sit in this if car. If you chill out, 
I'll sit in this car if you please take the handcuffs off. Well, me. I cannot have you unhandcuffed. It's my policy. I can get fired for it. I'll. I will stay okay. in this car the entire time. Well, I'm gonna need you to sit in the car anyway. But I promise. Thank you. I just. Okay. Chill. You don't know. Listen. I can't with these hands. Ellie. Ellie. Listen. Chill. Ellie, take a deep breath for me. Take one right now. No, I. I last. I was. I didn't even do anything wrong. It was. Ellie. Listen to me. Listen please, to me. Just listen to me. Please just take off the handcuffs. Listen please. to me. Please take off the No, do not okay, buckle me. Then I'm not gonna buckle you. Please take off the handcuffs because I I I can't with you. Oh, please. Please. Chill. You have to chill out. Please take off the handcuffs. Okay. Please. Right now I can't. You know why? I'll sit here if you take off the handcuffs. Okay. If not, I'll run out. Ellie, listen to me, okay? Because of everything that just happened, I need to ensure that you're safe. Can I tell you something? Can I share something with you? I was a mental health clinician for 10 years before I was a police officer. Okay? So I can empathize with you, but it's also my job to make sure that you're safe. I will okay? stay here if you just take off the handcuffs. Take How about yes. this? How about we try to do some breathing, okay? He can buckle me up if you take off the handcuffs, please. Sweetheart, he can't I, buckle me if not. He can't buckle okay. me if not. So listen, this is the deal. If you keep fighting like this, my sergeant's on his way here, and he has this device called the wrap, okay? And it completely restrains you. I can't. So listen to me. You have to listen to me. If you can't calm yourself down the way we are now, I am going to have to put you in that, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because we're calm and we're talking right now, okay? So we have to stop, okay? You have to stop. But this is the deal, okay? Right now? Can't my parents bail me out? Yeah, they can bail you out. How much money is it gonna be? I don't know. But do you know we that can... estimate? How about this? Do you know the estimate? Um, do you have your Illinois driver's license on yes. you in your car? Yes. You gave it to my officer, yes. right? So as of right now, um, if you just get charged with DUI, it'll be a hundred dollars cash. Okay, I can pay that. Okay. Can I please how about this? Okay? The faster I get you to the police department. The faster I, don't I want to go to the police department. Well, I have to. Just as the officer begins to make progress with getting Ellie to calm down, mention of the police station sets her off again. The only thing she'll get from continuing to freak out is ensuring that the ordeal lasts longer than it has to. But she won't get out of going to the station. I have to take you to the police department. Please don't. And if I take you to the police department, that's when the cuffs are going to come off quicker. So the quicker... Off. No! Okay. <laughs> Alright, well listen to me. If I put your seatbelt on, we can get you there in five minutes and the handcuffs will can come off. Can my parents come pick me up I then? Will call, absolutely, I will call your parents. Okay, sweetheart, we'll figure it all out, okay? Can I put your seatbelt on now? Can we go? Can we go to get these handcuffs off you, Ellie? I just want to drive home. I know. I, I know, want my sister to come pick me up. Okay. That's what was supposed to we'll happen. call your sister, okay? We're going to get you to the police department tell so her, I can get these off. Tell her to not okay. help my parents. And just Do you? <laughs> whose squad is this? Do you want me to Wait, go? Can you she's please? Good with me, if I'm buckled up and in the back of the car, can you please unhandcuff me? It can, Sweetheart, it's for you your safety. You can lock the door Ellie, and Ellie, I won't, Ellie, I won't listen, do Ellie, anything. Ellie, listen. you got to chill. Listen to I me. I know. This, I'm gonna, what's her name? Her name's Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Please Hi. just Hi, unhandcuff Ellie. me. Ellie, Ellie. Please my name un is Sergeant Dave. Ellie. Please unhandcuff me. We, we cannot do that. Okay. Please. So I can't be in handcuffs. Ellie. I can't be in handcuffs. She is. Okay, Ellie, you're under arrest and you have to be in handcuffs, okay? I can't be in handcuffs. You gotta say I can't be in handcuffs. Well, here, listen, let me explain something to you. So the only other option is way worse than this and you're not going to like it. What is it? one where we have to wrap you. Your two options are this one. We're gonna, We'll leave the door open so you can try to catch your breath. But what I'm telling you is... If you're refusing to cooperate and be in handcuffs, the second alternative is way worse than can this Can you please one. just, can you sit in the back with no, me? No, I can sit once, I can once they in the, lock the doors. I can, can sit you? in the front with you. Okay? Once they Wait. lock the doors, this it hurts. Handcuffs. Okay, well, well, here's, Ellie, the reason why it's hurting is you keep moving your wrist. No, okay. it hurts. <laughs> please just take them off of me. I can't wear them. Ellie. It feels like Ellie. I'm going to Utah. Ellie, Ellie. Ellie, stop. Ellie, if you stop. do that one more time, I'm going to put you in the wrap. Stop it. Okay? Then please take the handcuffs no. off me. Then you're going to get stop. put in the wrap. Those are your options. If please. you bang your head one more time, I'm going to put you in the wrap. Please take the handcuffs no, off me. Stop. Stop. 
I can't wait. Listen. Ellie, the longer we fight, the longer you're going to be in handcuffs. Just please take me to the station and call my sister. Okay, if you can chill out, then good. That we're on our way. Wait, can you get my phone so I know my sister's number? Your phone is in your pocket. No, it's in her pocket. I don't have my phone. Okay. Take a deep breath, okay? You don't! Ellie, I'm really trying to prevent you from being wrapped, but you're gonna put me. <laughs> uh, please just call my sister. Okay. Hey, Ellie, where are we? Can you say your car? Is this your guys'? Yeah, that's right. We'll take it. Okay. So. I can't f***ing reach in my pockets. You don't. Ellie has moved from sadness to anger and irritation now that she knows she's not going to get her way. She's begun talking down to the officers and cursing at them. But that's not going to change the reality of the situation either. Yeah. Is it in this side? Okay. So I can no. In. We'll get her in. I don't know. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you can't take my grapes though, because my parents oh, buy those for me. Eaten. You can't take those for me. My parents buy right, those right, for me, right, right, right. and I'm 18, and that used to be the age, so you can't take those for me. The vapes are going. Well, they can't. You can't have them in the back seat. We'll just put it back in the car. How's that? No, you're gonna take it then. You got a vape in between the lights. You can't take it. You can't take it from me, or else you have to give me twenty-seven dollars. I'm not. I don't want to take anything. Okay? Then don't. She should probably calm down before the officers change their minds and confiscate the vape, as they are within their right to do. The legal age to smoke tobacco and e-cigarettes is twenty-one years old. Moreover, to buy, sell distribute samples of or furnish any tobacco product or electronic cigarette to anyone under the legal age is a crime, according to Illinois Statute 720 ILCS 675. So, unless she wants her family to be next, she should probably be careful with what she says from this point forward. How about you Please just let me her in the car? Yeah, and do what you gotta do. Okay. There's a vape in between her legs. Okay, so this is the, I need to take the vape. No, okay. you can't. Okay, come on. You can't? Then give me twenty-seven dollars, because I just paid all my. I paid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in your car, okay? You're gonna put it in I'm my car. I'm gonna put it in your car right now, okay? Can I hit it first? No, you can't. The officers are being very generous, considering that she's legally not supposed to have it, and that she just slipped up and admitted that she paid for it herself somehow. <laughs> then you can't take it. We don't. We Ellie, don't Ellie, you Ellie, fight, Ellie, the more you fight with us, the longer we're going to be Don't here. take it! Ellie, you got to stop playing games, okay? Don't take you it! You have to stop playing games. I okay. need it first! Alright, so I'm searching you to make sure you have nothing else, okay, on you? There is nothing else on you. I have to double check because Did where we're at right now. The car. Um, okay. That was in her pocket. Yeah. Well, you can have it. I told you. I'm going to leave it in your car because you're, you're right. It's not illegal to possess, but. My parents bought it for me. They're 21. They can buy it. And I can have it. I just want it on from me for five hours. No, Jesus. Yeah, but she also she told you told not me to hit I'm it. I'm going to go in my car. Please put it in my car. I just paid $27 for that. And I need that. Please. Please put it in my car. Please. It's, just take a deep breath from you. What is in your... What's in your pants or hair? Is it just there? I don't. Don't reach. Do not reach. Don't reach. Can you please just give me my fiend back? Please. I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know what you're reaching for. Stop reaching for I'm things in your pocket. I'm not reaching for anything. Please just get me out of it. Okay. I can't be handcuffed. Okay, so I'm. <laughs> Ellie, what I'm gonna do is a little bit more of a thorough search, just like. Uh, you. you can't okay. touch me! I give you not Stop permission Ellie. to Stop touch Ellie. me! Ellie. I don't Ellie. give you permission Ellie. to touch me! I don't give you permission to touch me! I don't. I don't give you permission to touch me! Just because you're with the law just, does not mean you can you're just touch me it worse for yourself. without consent! You're Okay. When she comes out, I'm going to go away. 
Okay, you guys hold on to her. Dave, I'm going to get you her feet. You can't touch me without her. Okay. She's cuffed in the front or the back. She's cuffed in the back. While the officers continue to struggle with the suspect by the patrol car, another set of officers are preparing a body harness to restrain her since she refuses to cooperate. So we're going to have to. I don't want men touching me without consent. I don't. When you act like this, Ellie. You don't have consent. Actually, Dave, why don't you get feet? I'm going to feet right now. You guys are old men. Stop. Stop trying to bite. Stop trying to bite. Hang on, this thing's twisted on her. Ellie, what can we do to get you to calm down? Let me stand up and not be hurt by these handcuffs. We got to move her. Sergeant Dean, all right. Okay, so stop me. I gotta get her up there. Do not restrain me. So where it says knees, that's where we gotta lift her. Down. There you go. Got her. I got her. I'm gonna break. Knee back, knee back, forward. knee in her back. Ellie, you're doing great. Over her, you double check the cuffs. Cuffs are locked. Do not move. He's going to double check your Ellie, cuffs, Ellie. Ellie, stop digging your fingernails if into you my hands. If you fight him, he can't check your cuffs. Yeah, they hurt so if you bad. Fight him, Shut the no, I can't go in an ambulance. I will not in my head. I can't go in an ambulance. If you call my sister right when you get the... Hey, Ellie. I can't go in an ambulance. My stomach hurts. Let's go, my stomach hurts. Gotta stop. Can you please unbuckle the belt? My stomach hurts. Let go of the one on my stomach. It's digging in. Stop. Okay, hold on. We're trying to help. I'm trying to help you. Let go of it. It hurts. You have to stop. You're pulling on it. It hurts. Okay, stop so we can fix it, okay? Okay. What? We gotta lift her up, put her in. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four. Dude, I'm gonna put bring you guys the court I do complete. It hurts! Stop fighting. Ellie? I'm on the back. Here, you can clear there. Yep. It hurts! It hurts! Oh, it hurts. My wrist! Your and wrist? my stomach! Okay. And I told you that I can't be in handcuffs! Okay. And I told you that! Well, you have no 45 option. 45 minutes ago! Okay. Just right. bring me to the regular police Sorry, station and call my uh, sister! The officers finally get that stop wrapped up, no pun intended, and meet to discuss her charges before taking her down to the station. The overarching charge here is the aggravated battery. I mean, she was digging her hands in. Where's the I mean, she bit oh. your shoulder? She bit your shoulder? Yeah. yeah. Do you know if you have teeth marks under your shirt? No. Oh. She, yeah, spit, she, she spit she on sp Lang. Oh, she spit on Lang too? Yeah, yeah. she spit on Lang. Okay. That's why I made, like, after that, she, he was directly in front of her, and I was just like, because I'm like, F this area. I don't need him, you know? So, she bit you, she spit on Lang, she spit on Barillo, she dug her hand. She in grabbed my wrist numerous times before we so even one, started. Two, three. Ellie is successfully transported to the station without further incident and charged with resisting arrest and five counts of assaulting a police officer. Her bond was set at $20,000. A huge thank you to Vigilant Cam for providing us with this video. You can view and drop a like on the raw footage over on their channel. If you want more of the craziest police encounters, have a look at our previous videos and subscribe to be notified of brand new police stops.